A tantrum can look like anything that is a disruptive behavior that might interfere their ability to complete a task or for them to perform their, their, uh, their daily living um, routines. Tantrums could be maintained by four main factors. And the way that we can find out why these tantrums are happening is by looking at what makes the tantrum stop. So the first factor could be either to escape, avoid, or to delay a task that is asked of them. And an example of that is if we ask a child to change in order for them to go to sleep, that they would either cry, throw themselves on the floor, or refuse to go and um, change into their pajamas. If we are able to delay this task by either one or two minutes and the child stops tantruming, this is how we know that the function of that tantrum is to avoid or delay a behavior. The second type of tantrum is an attention tantrum. And an attention tantrum would usually stop if attention is provided to the child, regardless of whether it is positive um, by trying to comfort our child or negative by trying to reprimand or yelling at our child. The third type of tantrum is an access to tangibles tantrum, which means that the child is crying because they want to either access something that they like, either screen time, a toy, a certain snack, or a certain activity. And the way that we know that that is the function of the tantrum is if we give the child what they are asking for or what they want, and then the tantrum or the crying stops. The th fourth type of tantrum is what we call a sensory tantrum, and usually that happens throughout the day. Um, there isn't really um, a certain sequence or a certain event that happened that caused the child distress, and it could usually mean that the child either isn't feeling well, didn't sleep well, or um, is in general just bothered by certain factors in the environment. Ways where we can de decrease these tantrums is first by teaching an effective communication for the child to be able to appropriately ask for what it is that they want. And the second thing is to stop reinforcing any behaviors that are inappropriate and promoting them to actually communicate appropriately their needs.